Well, today I'm looking at um, Flimbar's Quest. Hmm, this seems to be a trainer version. As you can see, Flimbar's Quest loading up nicely. This is the Amiga version of Flimbar's Quest I've got right now. This game by System 3, as you can see at the bottom right, it says System 3. They're made other games such as Worms and Sensible Soccer. So as you can see, this is Flimbar's Quest, the Amiga version. I originally had this on the Commodore 64, but this is the Amiga version. Now for some reason the moves you can still fly around, because this is a move you can level 2 on the Commodore 64 version, but on the Amiga version it's on level 1, which is very strange. Anyway, so yeah, so... Basically, what you've got to do is you've got to... You see in the bottom... If I don't just keep dying... You see in the bottom middle of the screen there's this picture of an animal, or a creature. That's the um, creature that has got the scroll. You've got to collect three scrolls on this level, possibly more on that level, to complete the game, to complete the level, sorry. So if you just go, go and find that creature, um, going left and right through the world, um, you can shoot to kill the enemies. Ah, watch out for the um, bees' nests right here, uh, if that's what they are. Um, yeah, you've got to watch out for this butterfly, this butterfly will hurt you as well. Oh, watch it, one more. So yeah, so the graphics are very nice. Power lap scrolling. So yeah, so as you can see, this creature's got an arrow on it, so that's the creature you've got to um, attack. And then it'll give you the scroll. And then you take the scroll back to... Um, you can see in the in the TV thing at the bottom that scrolls now there. So if you take it all the way down here and back to this house here, this door, press up on the door and then you can give the um wizard or one of the easy scroll. And then you've got to do the same again and as you can see the creature in the middle has changed now to like a bee's nest or something. Or is it a snail? I'm not sure, I think it's a snail. So we keep going. Um yeah, you gotta watch out for him, he will hurt you. Going. Watch out for this picture right here. So we keep going. Yeah, so I've got to try and find him. He's somewhere around here. So random as well, random, random, random creatures up here. Yeah, this so you can go down here. There's some steps here, so you can go up these steps. And then, yeah, you can go Ooh, lots of money bags! It won't do left easier. Um, uh, anyone missing any money bags? You've left them all in this room. Um, uh, yeah. Collect them. Collect them in order of where this dollar appears. On the one you see it, on the one. Yeah, so we keep going. Just, just collect it. You can actually buy stuff on this one well in the shop. But, um, like weapons and stuff. So, yeah, so. It is one of them, but it's a purple one, but it's not that one. It'll still be useful to pull in. Ah! I don't remember seeing them on the Comic Book 64 version. Um, so yeah, if you, if you keep shooting them, you'll eventually die. As you can see. Just loud to you right there. Bad instance of you are. Oh no, wasps! I'm absolutely terrified of wasps in real life. You want to watch out for wasps? Okay, take it. Uh, yeah. Have some of that. Well, that wasn't the one. That was right quite off. It wasn't the one. So we can keep going. Huh? Oh, that was the crowd's name. Got killed then. There it is. It's around here somewhere. So it doesn't actually necessarily mean one, well, but I've got the scroll there, so we walk back. Oh, okay, I haven't got much energy. Sorry, I haven't got any much noise. 
one push in your head, you, you, you don't get energy on this. So yeah, so you can take it to the man. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah, he's one more strong. So it's one of them purple more highly than the other they are. There he is, so now on. So we know that's the one to get. Watch out for the wasp pointer. Ah, I hate wasps. Have some of that, you goddamn wasp. So we grab a combination of the wasp pointer and we'll give you the wasp pointer. Well, I don't know if you can see now it says level completed. So that's basically what you have to do to complete the level is bring all the scrolls back to him. And then we're going to start on to level 2. Now on the Commodore 64 version this music was on the first level and the music that I'm just on is on this level. So I don't know why they've changed it around. So we keep going. Um, yeah it's an okay Amiga platformer. Um, Personally, I prefer the Commodore 64 version. I don't know if that's because I started off in the Commodore 64 version, but yeah, the Commodore 64 version was really good. Especially the cartridge version. The 4 in 1 gang cartridge. But yes, that's how this is for the first on the Amiga. And the graphics are nice, and the music's really good, and I'm going to give it 10. That's out of 10. Goodbye.